Hello friends, this is Dr. Kothari from e Research Academy. Friends, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So friends, today we are going to discuss how to estimate two regression equations by assumed mean method. Okay, so let's start. So we are given a question here that is x and y. We have two variables and observation within x we have 15, 18, 26, 28, 31, 25, 19 and 35 and y 10, 11, 16, 19, 17, 14, 11 and 24. Okay, and we have to estimate two regression equation by assumed mean method. So why I am just taking this assumed mean? This just because of the logic behind of it. When I calculated the mean of these two series, what I found, I found this mean is decimal point. In X series it is 24.6 and in Y series it is 15.25. So when mean is in decimal point, to take the deviation from this decimal point and then square it, so it becomes quite difficult and it takes time that I have also mentioned in previous lectures. So for simplifying our calculation, we can take assumed mean if we are not given in the question that by what way or method we have to solve our question. So, to minimize our calculation, I am just assuming a mean here in both the series. As our actual mean is 24.6, our assumed mean should be near to this one. Okay, it should not be so far from this one. Okay, though the answer will come approximately right, but we should have to follow this one. Okay, your assumed mean must be near or closer to the actual mean. Okay, so you have to guess it. Uh, uh, this time we have this actual mean, so this is easy to assume mean for us. So 24.6, we can either take 25 or 24 if we have. Yes, we have 25, so we can take it as an assumed mean here. Okay, so under X series, our assumed mean, mean will become 25. And same we will follow in Y series, it is 15.25. If 15 is there, we will take the 15 as assumed mean. If not, we will take the nearer value to this one or closer to this one. So if we just look into this series, we have 16 and 14. So 16 is closer to this as compared to 14. So we will take 16. Okay. So here we have 16 as assumed mean. Okay. So first step that we have done. Okay. So in second step now we have to take deviation from these assumed means in both the series so take this deviation so in first one x minus a it becomes dx deviation of x series x minus assume the b so 15 minus 25 it gives you minus 10 18 minus 25 gives gives you minus 7 26 minus 25 1 28 minus 25 3 31 minus 25, 6, 19 minus 25, this is minus, sorry, 25 minus 25, this is 0, 19 minus 25 minus 6, 35 minus 25, it is 10, right? So these are your deviation in X series, same we will follow for Y, okay? So before taking the deviation in Y, we can just square it here. So dx square, okay, this is 100, 49, 1, 9, 36, 0, 36, and 100. So this is square of this dx here. Right, okay. Next we have d1. d1 is nothing, it is just y minus assumed b in y series, y minus a. Okay, it is y minus a means d y right so this is y minus a d y so we have y 10 11 16 19 17 and so forth and assume is 16 so 10 minus 16 we have minus 6 minus 5 0 4 that is 3 19 minus 16 3 17 minus 16 1 14 minus 16 minus 2, 11 minus 16 minus 5, 24 minus 16, that is 8. 
Okay. So these are the deviation in y series and get the square value of this deviation. This will be d y square. Okay. This will become 6, 6 is 36, 5, 5 is 25, 0, 9, 1, 4, 25 and 64. Okay. So these are the squared value of the deviation in y series. Okay. So the last column we need that is it is dx times dy, dx into dy means this column into this column okay so we need the multiplication of these two columns so minus 10 into minus 6 that is 60 minus 7 into 5 35 1 into 0 0 9 6 0 30 and 8 so these are our dx and dy okay so now we need dxy and dyx okay so let's calculate these one so before that you please just note it down okay uh, i'm also just doing some work here that is we need a summation of this dx dy dx d square this is sigma dx sigma dx is how much minus 3 this is minus 3 dx square sigma dx square is that is 331 okay sigma dy is minus 6 sigma dy square is 164 and the last one that is sigma dx dy it is 220 okay now we have summation of all the columns here that we need for further solution of our question okay sigma dx sigma dx square sigma dy sigma dy square sigma dx and dy so summation of all columns we have that is minus 3, 331, minus 6, 164, and 220. Okay? Just note it down. Okay? You please just pause it or take a snapshot or a screenshot of this one. Right? So I'm raising it. So now bxy is equal to this is n sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy. Okay. Upon this is n sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square. Okay, this is the formula here of bxy when we take the deviation by assumed mean. Okay, that we have also discussed in our previous lecture on theoretical portion of this regression or introductory part of this regression. Okay, so when we take the deviation for sorry uh, deviation from actual mean so we apply simply sigma dx dy upon sigma y square dy square or sigma y square but when we take the deviation from assumed mean our formula becomes this one okay and now put the value here so n we have 8 
we have n8 into sigma dx dy we have 220 220 minus sigma dx we have minus 3 into minus 6 sigma dy upon and again we have 8 sigma dy square we have 164 minus sigma y square we have uh, sigma y we have 6 okay 6 square right so this is minus 6 square minus 6 square okay now solve it so you will get 16 16 sorry 17 16 it is 17 16 minus minus 3 into minus 6 it is 18 okay 18 upon so this upon this into this gives us 13 12 minus this into this gives us 36 okay 8 into 164 13 12 minus 6 into 6 36 so it is 1742 1760 minus 18 12 minus this one it is 12 76 so our bxy becomes 1.37 okay so you just just note it down i'm just writing it here i will use it further in estimating the regression equation okay so bxy we have 1.37 okay so similarly we will find out B this is B Y X okay so B Y X is calculated by Y X this term remains same but here it is N sigma B X square minus sigma B X whole square okay so this term will remain same and this will be changed so apply the values here so n we have 8 sigma dx dy is same as 220 minus this is minus 3 into minus 6 upon and we have 8 sigma dx square we have 331 minus sigma dx we have minus 3 square so this will give us 1720 minus 18 uh, so that is 1720 sorry 1760 1760 minus 18 upon this is 2689 Two six four eight. Sorry, okay. It is two six four eight minus nine. Okay, minus nine. So this gives us seventeen forty two by two six three nine. So our B Y X becomes 0 0.66. Okay, if you solve it, it will give you 0 0.66. I am writing it here. B Y X equal to 0 0.66. Okay. This way. Right. So now we need to estimate the regression equation. So we have two regression equation. We will get it one by one. Okay. The first one we have this is number one regression equation of x on y. Okay. So this we have x minus x bar equal to this is b x y. Dxy times y minus 
y bar. Okay. So x we don't know, but x bar is twenty four point six. So friends, we have to keep in our mind while taking this. Sorry, while estimating the regression equation here, we will keep actual mean rather the assumed one. Okay. So hence. We calculated this actual mean here. That is twenty four point six. B x y we have one point three seven. Okay. Then y minus y bar we have fifteen point two five. Okay. Now simplify this. This will give you one point three seven y minus this into this is. This is twenty point eight nine. Okay, twenty point eight nine. Now take this value to twenty point eight nine. This will be one point three seven y minus twenty point eight nine. If you carry it here, so it will become plus twenty four point six. Okay, so. Y. This is plus. This one is minus. Plus value is half. So you will take this plus. This minus this gives you three point seven one. Three point seven one. Okay. So our first equation x on y becomes x equal to one point three seven y plus. 3.71. Okay, so this is our first equation, right? Okay. Next, second we have regression equation of y on x. Second we have regression equation of y on x. So we will similarly have the value of y dependent on x. Y on x. It means. What does it mean? It means y dependent on x. Okay. So we will have to estimate y. So y minus y bar equal to b. This is y x times x minus x bar. Okay. So y we don't know, but y bar we have fifteen point two five. Okay, equal to this b b y x we have zero point six six x minus x bar we have twenty four point six. Okay, so y minus fifteen point two five equal to zero point six six x. Okay. So multiply this with this one minus this into this gives you sixteen point two four. Okay. So this this into this gives you sixteen point two four. Okay. Now y equal to Zero point six six x minus sixteen point two four plus fifteen point two five. So it will be zero point six six x minus zero point nine nine. Okay. So this will be our second equation. So friends, by this way we estimate the regression equation by assumed mean method. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed this channel so far, you just please subscribe it, share it to your friends, and also give your valuable comments. And have a nice day ahead. God bless you.